We're taking a look at how a media production team has organized activities on a Kanban tool board. Most of the company's work is in comics, interactive arts, websites, and video production. Since production processes of their varied media differ significantly, they keep board templates adjusted to each of these types of work. Usually, a few similar projects will be tracked on one board. This one here follows a film production workflow, four videos at this time. Each swim lane, horizontal row, is one project. As we can see, these four are at very different stages of completion. There are seven team-specific columns and a completed stage. The team have set up process automation rules in a way that, when moved between stages, tasks are assigned to specific team members. Thanks to this, people are notified when tasks are ready for them to pick up. Work starts in budgeting where funding is arranged and all initial requirements discussed and finalized with the client. Then there's time for complete, detailed scripting for the project. Pre-production is wherein another person, and more often a few, deal with talent supply, staff organization, any location booking, permits if such are required, and a few other planning matters. Once all that is in place, production itself can begin. This stage bases highly on due dates monitoring, quality control, and general direction and supervision of the filmmakers. Next, the project reaches post-production, where music, any voice re-recordings, and mixing happens. What's left to do now is either delivery to the client or distribution to their chosen channels. This particular production house also works on marketing of their materials. And so for the projects on which a campaign was also agreed, this is the final stage. With their Kanban tool boards, the team is always aware of what stage each project is in and whom to contact for an update. A big part of the whole process involves sharing documents stored online, graphic, sound, or video samples. This is all done with direct attachments or Google Drive integration for large docs. There are various card templates to use to facilitate completely different activities on information-packed task cards, and card colors signify types of activities or importance. The team's favorite aspect of using Kanban Tool is the versatility of the boards and task customization options. Each of their board templates is very different, uses other sets of power-ups, and very different card templates. While deciding on what the process should look like was completed by trial and error, setting up the boards and reshaping them when necessary was not an issue to any admin of the team. Admins of this Kanban tool account are also satisfied with access rights management. They are able to decide who views and edits which project and are able to keep the high profile ones limited to chosen individuals only, which is of great value in the media filmmaking industry. Hope you've enjoyed this example of Kanban tool in action. If an easy to use and highly customizable project organization tool is what your team needs too, do try it for free at kanbantool.com.